Hi there, Robin here from Expert On, and today we're going to be looking at one of our other speakers we got in just this week, which is the AS10 to go from Gemini. Uh, their 10 inch version, and really, really nice to have because it's a rechargeable speaker. That's the big, big, big sell feature on this is portability, ease of use. Uh, 10 inch, so we're going to start getting in something with a little bit better bass into it. Um, still great and easy to carry. Two ported. 10 inch driver, one inch horn on top. And amazingly enough, even though it's very compact and very easy to carry, I mean, that's a pretty nice size speaker to have. So they still put a handle on it. It was right up, easy to carry about, put it on wheels, of course. And uh, I mean, it's better to have a trolley, I guess, than not to. Uh, if you really don't want it because you think, oh, I so you want to make it as small as possible, you can take the four screws off, take it off. But I think it's just awesome that you have one in there behind. So again, so you've got the 10 inch, you've got the horn, the ports, ease of use. If we want to compare it next to, let's say, the 8 inch, we'll put that up here for a second. So this is Gemini's AS08 to go. This is their 8 inch version, and this is their 10 inch version. So it kind of gives you an idea of comparison and size. So take a look at the back, which is where everything happens. We don't have to plug it in because, again, it's got a built-in battery. And batteries in all these units, they try, you know, they try and get to somewhere around uh, three to four hours of play, uh, depending on the volume level, because the battery is like a tank of gas in your car. If you drive real hard, you're going to go through that gas a lot faster. Same thing happens to the battery. The more you turn it up, the faster you're going to go through it. And if you're just leaving it on background level it'll last an awful long time so you can get your get your full day out of it I guess um, you got to try it to know exactly how long it's gonna work for you that's always the tough part so if we look at the overall features again we'll start with the knob very similar to a lot of the other models that they have in this class we've got our four buttons across the top we've got one bottom down below so we've got our main volume we've got our bass and treble and then we've got our echo so again if you'd like to use it for karaoke uh, or you just want to give your voice a little bit more live effect to it when you're plugging your mics in. There you go. Uh, there's our main mic input jack right at the, the bottom underneath all the other buttons. Besides that, we've got two quarter inch jacks. So you've got yourself your quarter inch microphone, then your quarter inch for your guitar, which can also be a microphone if you really wanted to. Um, and then beside that, we've got our other inputs, which are the RCA input. Uh, so we can plug in our laptop, maybe our phone or tablet directly into it. This unit also has Bluetooth, but we'll cover that in a second. Then we've got audio out, so if you want to hook a second speaker or hook this up to a bigger system, you can do that as well with the RCA output jacks. Auxiliary 3.5, so depending on what kind of cable you have, maybe you only have a 3.5 to 3.5, and that's how you got to hook it up. So, well, they give you the jack, so it's not like you got to go out and buy another cable. So it's right there for you. All the lights on down here, we've got the first one is the green light, and that's our power indicator. It tells us that the unit's on or off, so if I turn off, all the lights are going to go off. Turn back on. All the lights, but the last one's going to go on because on this one here, we've had it on for a while, so we've got next one here. The red one's just basically a, a warning indicator. You're down to 25% battery life. Then you've got a 50% and a 75%, and the very last one's 100%, and it's not on right now because, well, the battery's not 100%. Down below, we've got, this is our AC adapter plug. So here's our plug and uh, AC adapter is 13.2 volts at one amp. Uh, so this way, if you need to buy a replacement, there you go, all the information. You can go up to 13.5 if that's all you can find. That again, plugs right into the back there. And next to that, we've got our 12 volt adapter. So this is our AC adapter. Then we've got two wire connections for DC adapter. So I can plug in straight off a 12 volt battery power pack or something like that, you know, one of those buy them at the store, boost your car with 12 volt power. Well, that's like having a big tanker truck of gas just to keep filling this up with power if you need to use it all weekend long camping. That's uh, that's a way to get even more power out of it. Just bring one of those portable batteries with you. There you go. So now we're up to the top. Now we're going to take the SD card because it has a built in MP3 player. We're going to put that right in there. Turn up the volume a bit. Now, I, I've i just done the video for the eight inch. If you haven't seen it, you can watch that one too. I'll put a link there. But uh, what I did find is base your system here. So we can add and minus off our base. Make it, you know, cream and sugar in your coffee, right? So everybody likes it a little different. There's nothing right or wrong about it, except that you're happy. You can adjust it. I did find this unit to be bassier though. That's for sure on the 10 inch. 
Now, we still have an MP3 player, which is what we're playing right now. It has Bluetooth just simply by pressing the mode button. It's now gonna say BT, search on your phone, this little light's blinking, uh, and then you'll be able to pair off to it. You'll see Gemini on your phone or tablet, and there you go. Uh, also, yep, yeah, sorry, we'll press this one more time, and we will get to the FM tuner. Now, again, this is a new unit, so we haven't preset it yet. To preset it, all you have to do is press the play button, which is right next to the mode button. Press that for about two, three seconds. It will scan and memorize all the radio stations for you, up to 30, so they'll be all set there. Then you've got your repeat or shuffle button. Next and previous buttons are located there, and then USB input, which is normally for your MP3, but you can also take USB power from it uh, right off of there. So that covers all the features in the back. Again, the battery is located inside. You'd have to take the handle off and take all these screws off to get to the battery, but it is replaceable and serviceable. So over the years, if you need to change it, you can do that too. So there we go on that part. Now it does come with a microphone in the box, which is right here. And it also comes with a remote control, instruction manual, and some little sponge feet. So we will plug the microphone in. And we're gonna plug that right into there. Oh, the mic was already on halfway. And we're gonna try this out here. Take a listen to the free mic that comes included with the package. So there we go. So again, we got echo. Oh boy, oh boy, big echo. And we can dial that down. Your choice. You dial that in the way you want. So we turn that off and we go and say, well, you know, what does something that's not free in the box sound like? So our best seller in store. We've got lots of different microphones, but again, this one here, everybody loves giving it a try. Everybody enjoys buying a second and third one afterwards. So this is the PDMI C59, which is the same as uh, Pilot's 58 microphone. And there you go. Just dial it up. All set again, echo on, echo off. Pretty straightforward stuff. So, I think it's great if you, you gotta do an announcement or you're doing a public address in a small group. Uh, you need something portable, something easy to take to the car, uh, inside to wherever you're gonna be going. It's a good way to start off. So if you need something portable and you don't wanna carry something that's very heavy, really good way to go. So, last bit is the remote control. If you're using the remote control, remember to turn up your actual volume to the comfortable level that you do want to play it. Then you bring the unit back to the front. The remote control works from the front. That'll allow you basic functions like the play, pause. You can change the mode so you can get from the Bluetooth to the FM radio, all that from here. Uh, it's got a couple of extra stuff, uh, with like uh, sound settings on it and some volume, digital volume, though, remember that. So you got to set the volume up in the front, and sorry, in the back first to the level you want. Then you can drive it up and down from here. That's the remote control. So, very popular unit. That's why we're happy to have it here at Expert Island. Um, if you want to find out where you can get this unit down in the States, that's normally Amazon.com. We're going to put a link to that. All the features that we have from Gemini's website, all there too. Uh, we're also going to have a link to our website. So, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. That would be very appreciated. And if you have, thank you very much. My name is Robin, this is Expert Island. You've been looking at a video for the Gemini AS10 to go. Thank you, bye now.